Hello and welcome. This is my final presentation about the energy and transformation course. So my topic is smoothbore versus rifle. My name is Marcos Hernandez Arteaga and I'm going to be showing you through it. Okay, so first off, you may be asking, what are we talking about? Well, what we're talking about is the difference in smoothbore or rifle guns to tanks, to modern warfare vehicles. So let's take a look at it. Smoothbore. A smoothbore cannon, as the name would suggest, is a cannon that on the inside has no groups and is completely smooth, making it very easy to maintain and manufacture, but its accuracy, if we're talking about its normal shell, an armor piercing shell, is quite dependent on the type of round it's firing. And if it's an armor piercing shell, it's often very, very, very inaccurate and unstable. Yeah, a smoothbore fires a uh, rifle. A smoothbore fire is a tumbling projectile on an unstable course, as it says here. What's a rifled gun? All right, so a rifled barrel is the type of barrel that has groups that uh, have to be aligned properly, uh, even perfectly, because it makes some types of shells more accurate on their course by making them uh, spin. However, they are very hard to take care of and manufacture. An effect of a, of a rifle bore would be that it fires the projectile, at least an armor piercing projectile, on a spinning course, so it, it's more stable and uh, in a lot of times uh, quicker. So here's the main difference. Here's a rifle barrel and here's a smoothbore barrel. A rifle barrel has groups that turn on the inside a lot like uh, it would happen in hand pistols, handguns. But its smoothbore barrel is completely uh, smooth. It's like a tube. It has nothing on the inside. All right, so here comes the main difference in nowadays. It comes in ammunition. For example, here we have a uh, heat, heat rounds, which means high explosive anti-tank. Uh, they puncture a high temp jet of gas into the enemy vehicle, but uh, they would need a rifle barrel before the, smooth, the modern fin stabilized projectiles were invented. Here's the example of uh, here at the bottom it's APBS FS, which means armor piercing discarding Sabbath uh, fin stabilized. This, as I mentioned uh, earlier, Fin stabilized means that the shell itself is the one that has some fins that make it uh, spin properly and get the angle without the necessary use of a rifle gun. It wouldn't need it. So it's way easier to manufacture a smoothbar barrel in this case for the fin stabilized shells. Okay, so a quick uh, history run, rundown would be that uh, before uh, tanks were invented, all all the barrels, all the cannons were smoothbore, making them a little bit inaccurate and uh, slower traveling shells overall. But around the Second World War, uh, the rifle barrels were invented, so means that the shells that fire from them were way more stable. We have to remember that the, these first shells were uh, armor-piercing AP rounds, so uh, they were very, very much an advantage over the, the smoothbore barrels. However, the Russians changed that during the Cold War. They invented the T-72A, which was the first modern vehicle to include a, a smoothbore barrel that was also very accurate because it featured these new types of shells, thin stabilized shells. So it meant that the gun was way more accurate with less of a hassle to produce it and having the benefits of these new types of shells as well. So have uh, rifle guns been completely forgotten? Well, the thing is they haven't. Uh, one example would be the Argent MBT or the Challenger from the Britain and in the, the, from the Indian and British uh, um, forces respectively. The Argent MBT and the Challenger use uh, rifle guns because they don't use these new types of ammunition. They use uh, armor piercing on, or uh, armor piercing composite rated shells instead of fin stabilized ones. Okay, so how was this project developed? The project was developed uh, purely on research because of the current situation. I really don't have access to materials to test this out. And it would be really, really, really hard to test it out because I need access to military equipment and that's not going to happen. 
Okay, so the research project was developed during this month in the energy and transformation subject. And I chose this topic because it has a lot to do with the main topic of the course, which would be uh, physics and overall their appliance. So a second question, so, small rundown. Is it better to have a smoothbore or a rifled gun? Well, the answer really is depending on the types of shell you use. Here we have a heat thin stabilized round. As we can see, these are the different parts of the shell. And right here at the back, we have the fins that would open up when the, when the shell exits the, the main gun of the tank. And these, these fins would make it so that it spins without the use of a rifled gun, meaning it would be more easier to produce the barrel and overall uh, cheaper and easier to maintain. And because now you have to focus on the shells instead of on the whole barrel, which would be more complicated. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Take care.